Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Our video blog this week is about STO. I wanted to give you an update. I think there's good things that have happened and there's also current challenges that I want to share with you. STO and OC Transpo have had an important relationship to support customers traveling on transit between Ottawa and Gatineau on a regular basis. That's generations. There's a unique opportunity at the, with the construction of the LRT to revise that approach and improve transit, but at the same time, reduce the amount of buses on our downtown main streets, particularly in Ottawa. Historically, prior to the opening of LRT, STO buses were waiting at the end of King Edward, and as they were approaching their bus, they would go down King Edward, uh, go down Rideau Street and Wellington to reintegrate into Gatineau. That was to change with the opening of LRT and a full integration of STO services at Lyon Station via a different bridge, via Portage Bridge, and few routes were to use Albert and Slater to end their circuit at the Rideau, Rideau Center, but on the Mackenzie side, not on the Rideau Street side. That was the objective. Let's take a look at today's problem. City Council and the City of Ottawa have done unprecedented amounts of investments to modernize our public transit in our city. Today I want to narrow into one area which is near the Rideau Centre where really our, our taxpayers invested close to one billion dollars to move all the the core transit going through our, our downtown core in a tunnel and that's through the LRT phase one particularly where the tunnel is located. At the same time and I go back a number of years when the sinkhole happened on Rideau local bus routes and STO bus routes had to be detoured. One of the objectives was to make sure that Rideau Street and Wellington was not going to become the next transit way and to modernize the approach so that Wellington and Rideau could be main streets. Here's the thing, we want better transit, we want fewer buses in downtown and we want better service at the same time. Are there fewer buses today in Ottawa's downtown? Yes. Are there fewer STO buses in Ottawa's downtown? Yes. But the issue remains. The issue is that east of the endpoint, which was the Rideau Centre or the uh, Lion Station of the LRT, there are 15 bus routes that make their way with four time points within our community. Not just the one under Union Station, which is the end of King Edward. There's now stop areas in my community near the University of Ottawa on Mackenzie Avenue. I think we can do better as good if not better service to customers of both STO and OC Transpo with achieving the objectives that were in place at the integration of line. So let's do that. We have an issue here for Lower Town, Sandy Hill, and we really didn't achieve the objectives that we had set out with the construction of the LRT and our relationship with STO. 